Hey everyone, it's your name here, and today we're diving deep into a topic that hits close to home for many memory loss. Let's face it, as we age, the fear of forgetting things, of our minds not being as sharp as they used to be, becomes a real concern. And you know me, I'm all about giving you the knowledge to live your healthiest life. One of the things that doesn't get talked about enough are the medications that could be contributing to memory problems and even increasing the risk of dementia. That's right, some of the drugs sitting in your medicine cabinet might be doing more harm than good when it comes to your brain health. Specifically, we're going to be talking about anticholinergic drugs. These medications work by blocking a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, which is crucial for memory and learning. Now, don't go throwing out your meds just yet. The goal here is to educate you so you can have an informed conversation with your doctor. So what exactly are anticholinergic drugs and why should you care? They block acetylcholine, a chemical vital for memory and learning. Think of acetylcholine as a key that unlocks memory pathways. These drugs act as blockers, preventing that key from working. Disrupted acetylcholine can lead to memory problems and confusion. It's like navigating a foggy maze. Studies link long-term use to cognitive decline and dementia. Scary, right? But knowledge is power. Understand the risks to control your brain health. Some medications need to block acetylcholine to work. They treat conditions like allergies, depression, and Parkinson's. Weigh the risks against the benefits. If you're over 60, discuss the impact on cognitive health with your doctor. Advocate for yourself. Your brain health is precious. And let's talk allergies, something many of us struggle with, especially during certain times of the year. Some over-the-counter allergy meds contain anticholinergic properties that could affect your memory. These blockers are in some common allergy medications, especially older generation antihistamines. Be mindful of the potential risks, especially if you're taking these medications regularly. Talk to your doctor about alternative options, especially if you have concerns about memory. Newer generation antihistamines have fewer anticholinergic effects and might be safer for your brain health. It's about finding the right balance between managing symptoms and protecting cognitive well-being. Depression is a serious condition that affects millions of people, and medication can be a lifesaver for many. But it's important to be aware that some antidepressants, particularly older classes like tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, can have anticholinergic effects. Now I know how important it is to manage depression and prioritize mental health, but it's equally crucial to be mindful of the potential impact on your cognitive function, especially if you're taking these medications long-term. If you're concerned about the cognitive side effects of your antidepressants, don't suffer in silence. Talk to your doctor. There are other types of antidepressants available, such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, and serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, that have a lower risk of anticholinergic effects. Remember, finding the right medication and dosage is a journey, and it often takes some trial and error. Your doctor can help you navigate the options and find the best fit for your individual needs and health history. And never, ever stop taking your medication or adjust your dosage without first consulting your doctor. Abruptly stopping antidepressants can lead to withdrawal symptoms and potentially worsen your condition. Chapter 4. Urinary Incontinence. Don't let meds hold you back. Urinary incontinence is a common problem, especially as we age, but it can be embarrassing and affect quality of life. While medications can help manage the symptoms, it's essential to be aware of the potential cognitive risks associated with some of these drugs. Certain medications used to treat urinary incontinence, such as oxybutynin and tolteridine, have anticholinergic properties that can interfere with memory and thinking. Now, I know how important it is to find relief from these symptoms, but it's crucial to weigh the risks and benefits carefully. If you're concerned about the cognitive side effects of your urinary incontinence medication, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. They can help you explore alternative treatment options, such as behavioral therapies, pelvic floor exercises, or different medications with a lower risk of cognitive impairment. Remember, managing your health is a team effort, and your doctor is your partner in this journey. Don't be afraid to ask questions, voice your concerns, and advocate for your cognitive well-being. Chapter 5. Parkinson's Disease, Navigating Movement and Memory 
Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that affects movement and can also impact cognitive function. While medications are essential for managing the motor symptoms, some of these drugs can worsen cognitive issues. Medications like benztropine and trihexyphenidyl, which are often prescribed to reduce tremors and muscle stiffness in Parkinson's disease, have anticholinergic effects that can further impair memory and thinking. It's a delicate balance, managing the motor symptoms while protecting cognitive function. If you or a loved one is living with Parkinson's disease, it's crucial to have open and honest conversations with your healthcare provider about the potential risks and benefits of each medication. They can help you weigh the options, adjust dosages, or explore alternative therapies to find the best possible balance for managing both the physical and cognitive aspects of the disease. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Chapter 6. Gastrointestinal Issues, Gut Feelings, and Brain Fog We often talk about the gut-brain connection, and for good reason. What affects our gut can also impact our brain health. Some medications used to treat gastrointestinal disorders, such as antispasmodics and antiemetics, can have anticholinergic effects. These medications, while helpful in relieving symptoms like stomach cramps, nausea, and vomiting, can also contribute to brain fog, memory problems, and confusion. It's essential to be mindful of these potential side effects, especially if you're taking these medications regularly or for extended periods. If you're experiencing cognitive issues along with your gastrointestinal symptoms, talk to your doctor. They can help you determine if your medications might be contributing to the problem and explore alternative treatment options that might be a better fit for you. Remember, it's all about finding the right balance between managing your symptoms and protecting your cognitive health. Don't hesitate to advocate for yourself and ask for the information you need to make informed decisions about your health. Chapter 7. Respiratory Conditions – Breathing Easy, Thinking Clearly When it comes to respiratory conditions like asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, medications are often essential for managing symptoms and improving quality of life. However, some of these medications, particularly older generation bronchodilators, can have anticholinergic effects. While these medications can help open up the airways and make breathing easier, they can also impact cognitive function leading to memory problems, confusion, and difficulty concentrating. It's crucial to be aware of this potential side effect, especially if you're taking these medications long-term. If you're concerned about the cognitive impact of your respiratory medications, talk to your doctor. They can help you explore alternative options, such as newer generation bronchodilators with fewer anticholinergic effects, or adjust your dosage to minimize the risk of cognitive impairment. Remember, managing your health is a balancing act, and it's essential to weigh the risks and benefits of each medication carefully. Your doctor is your partner in this journey, so don't hesitate to ask questions and advocate for your cognitive well-being. Chapter 8. Sleep Disorders, Restful Nights, Sharp Mind A good night's sleep is crucial for overall health, including cognitive function, but sometimes we need a little help to get those restful Zs. While sleep medications can be helpful in the short term, it's essential to be mindful of their potential impact on memory and thinking. Some sleep medications, particularly those in the benzodiazepine and non-benzodiazepine classes, can have amnesic effects, meaning they can interfere with memory formation and recall. This can be especially problematic for older adults who may already be experiencing age-related cognitive decline. If you're struggling with sleep problems, Talk to your doctor about alternative solutions that prioritize both restful sleep and cognitive health. Cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, relaxation techniques, and good sleep hygiene practices can be effective in improving sleep quality without the cognitive risks associated with some medications. Remember, taking care of your sleep is one of the best things you can do for your brain health. By making sleep a priority and exploring non-medication approaches, you can wake up feeling refreshed and mentally sharp. So there you have it, guys. We've covered a lot of ground today, and I know it can feel overwhelming. But the key takeaway is this. Knowledge is power. By being informed about the medications you're taking and their potential impact on your cognitive health, you can make empowered decisions about your health. Remember, this video is not meant to replace medical advice. If you have any concerns about your medications or your cognitive health, please reach out to your doctor. They can provide personalized guidance and help you navigate the complexities of medication management. 
Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe for more health tips and insights. Until next time, stay healthy, stay informed, and take care of your amazing brains.